Hello, welcome back to this channel. I'm Dr. Ojo. Today, I want to talk about sample projects that have qualified for the National Interest Waiver, especially for those who are doing tech-related programs at Master's or PhD level. In other words, this video will be useful for anyone, especially those who are in tech related programs to know the kind of projects that um, you know have qualified for the national interest waiver so the first project i'm going to talk about is that of a phd student in computer science i don't know why people do phd in computer science anyway but um help someone who i know of someone who did a phd in computer science and um, she used her coding skills to develop an algorithm that identifies disposal sites for radioactive waste so um now if you think about that looking at our previous video this is a good fit for the niw uh for its potential to benefit the environment now another sample project for another student is uh, from a phd student in mathematics who is using what they call combinatorics. I don't know what that means, I'm a biomedical scientist, but um, he used the uh, combinatorics to uh, optimize. So he claims he's using combinatorics to optimize how smart devices and computers perform. So improving the efficiency of um, smart computers or smart devices and computers. And um, if you think about it, she or uh, he made an argument for the NIW uh, under this using this uh, project for its potential benefits to the economy and also to the communication sector. You know, of course, if it, if it benefits the communication sector, uh, it has a potential to uh, help the economy of the U.S. So that's what um, this particular candidate did. Now, a third project I'm going to talk about is that of a master's student. So he only had a master's and um, he was on OPT, optical training, which is, uh, if you're familiar with this, it's, um, uh, I mean, if you're not familiar with this, it's um, uh, like a three-year period for STEM students to kind of get more training or work in the US. So after that OPT, you are on your own, except if your employer files for you or you do other means. Uh, like get married to a citizen to, to get your papers. But instead of doing that, he uh, did this under the OPT. He qualified, uh, applied for the NIW under the, uh, or during his OPT. And basically what he did for his master's project was to collaborate with researchers in pharmaceutical sciences. So they developed a computational model, okay, to uh, study protein signaling pathways and they claim that these pathways may help in studying immune responses to cancer. So he just used his coding skills to help other people in other fields uh, who are doing health-related research. And because of that, he became a good fit for the National Interest Waiver and this self-sponsored green card because what he is doing has potential benefits to the health of US workers, okay? So uh, that's how you can link from one field to the other by collaborating. Now, before I talk about the next two projects, please, I wanna talk to you about, you know, subscribing to this channel. I realized that almost 70% of people watching uh, videos on this channel are not subscribers. Please just subscribe to the channel and um, don't forget to like this video. Please do that now, please. That is how YouTube knows to, you know, uh, show this video to other people. So please help us spread this by liking this video. Now let's talk about the fourth project. Now this was from a PhD scholar, uh, one of my friends actually, who is in applied mathematics, and um, he's um, helping in building an in silico model. Okay, I mean, I don't know much of all these things. Uh, because I'm a biomedical scientist, okay? I'm not a mathematician, but talking to him, I just talked about, we talked about what he's doing for, you know, for research. 
and he is um, building his silicon models to study colon cancer. So apparently, he um, he is collaborating with some um, people in engineering to build this model, and because of that, that uh, is a good fit for the NIW because of its potential benefits to the health sector as well. And basically, this person can make an argument for improving the economy because. Uh, if this is successful, this could be an alternative, a cheaper alternative to study, uh, you know, colon cancer and other types of cancer in the U.S. And it could also, you know, if you license it, it could also bring money for, you know, for whatever company or individuals that have the rights to this. So, uh, you can see how one can, you know, go from mathematics to health and economy. So that's how to think when you are designing your projects. And the last project I'm going to talk about is that from a master student, actually, who is also an OPT. He's a software engineer. And during his OPT, he actually collaborated with people uh, in the recycling department of the university. And he wrote an algorithm to help improve, you know, um, pick up picking up of um, recyclable materials, right? And how to improve uh, recording, so database. So he did that for them. And um, because of that, he became a good fit for the NIW and this self-sponsored green card uh, under the environment by arguing that what he is doing has a potential to benefit the environment, even though what he's doing is just uh, on campus, but it's still part of the U.S. Even though you know the U.S. will claim, you know, we want your work to have to be to be national in scope. It's not really true. Uh, of course, that's ideal. But if you are still doing some great work locally, wherever you are, especially in the U.S. on campus or in the county, that could count as well. So if you're a current student or an incoming student, you need to have all this at the back of your mind in order to you know, know how to build projects, how to create, to be creative with your projects, to fit some of these areas so that you can easily qualify for the NIW. Obviously, these are not the only things you need to do. I mean, just having a project in national interest does not uh, really count if you don't have a lot of other evidence and that's what um, myself and some of our partners are doing on this platform to help you learn how to build all the evidence that you need okay while you are still a student or a postdoc so if you want to learn about what we have to offer please check the description below or the comment section to learn about what we can offer and how we can help you or link you up with um very, very qualified attorneys that would be able to fight for your case.